Until the early 1990s, virtually all domestic refrigerators used ozone-depleting chemicals as refrigerants. When the hole in the Earth's ozone layer was discovered over Antarctica, however, these chemicals, known as CFCs, were banned. Unfortunately, the alternatives which were then adopted, while less damaging to the ozone, turned out to be harmful in a different way. They are powerful greenhouse gases. That is why Greenpeace set out to find an alternative refrigeration technology. The future of environmentally safe refrigeration had to be with natural substances such as hydrocarbons. The idea of an environmentally friendly fridge, a green freeze, was born here at Greenpeace Germany headquarters in Hamburg in 1992. Greenpeace looked for refrigeration alternatives and found research work done at a medical institute in Dortmund, Germany by Dr. Hans Presendanz and Professor Harry Rezin. They discovered a suitable mix of butane and propane which neither destroyed the ozone layer nor contributed to global warming and could be used immediately as a drop-in replacement this is exactly what Greenpeace was looking for. The next step was to find an industrial partner willing to transform the research into commercially viable products. This partner turned out to be the East German-based company DKK, today known as Foren. DKK was willing to take a financial risk and built the first Green Freeze prototype in 1992. The refrigeration industry scoffed, saying there was no market for a climate-friendly fridge. So Greenpeace went to the public and quickly amassed 70,000 pre-orders for the refrigerator. In March 1993, the first Green Freeze fridge rolled off the DKK assembly lines. The position of the industry changed quickly. Within its first year, major producers picked up the new technology throughout Germany and Europe. It also made its way over to China. Over the following years, persistent Greenpeace campaign work helped to spread the Green Freeze technology all over the world. Green Freeze was awarded the United Nations Environmental Programs Ozone Award in 1997 in Montreal. Now every year, roughly 35 million Green Freeze fridges are produced worldwide. About a third of all refrigerators produced annually bringing the current total Green Freeze fridges to approximately 300 million. Green Freeze technology has spared our planet from the equivalent of 450 million tons of carbon dioxide, more than the combined annual emissions of the Netherlands, Austria, and Greece. The next chapter of the Green Freeze story has already been opened. In 2001, Greenpeace and five other international organizations, including UNEP and UNICEF, started the Solar Chill Project to develop and help implement a solar-powered version of Green Freeze for use as a refrigerator and vaccine cooler that can function without batteries to be used in remote villages, off-grid communities, and also in places like the school in Ghana. Green Freeze is a triumph of can-do over can't be done, and an encouraging demonstration that there are workable solutions to climate change. Green Freeze, an environmental success story, brought to you by Greenpeace.